Good evening, all my relations. My name is Jose Cuellar, and I've been given the privilege and honor to be tonight's MC. And one of the first starter of business, in addition to welcoming you all my relations, is to introduce the Executive Director of AIM West, American Movement in the West, Antonio Tony Gonzalez, to introduce other, another important visitor and guest of the AIM West Movement. Okay. Antonio Gonzalez. All right. Oh, oh! Thank you, Dr. Cuellar. And uh, yes, indeed, uh, welcome all my relations to the third annual uh, AIM West Red and Blues uh, concert. Uh, this is uh, Native American Day proclaimed across the country, and uh, we thought uh, we'd take good advantage of that uh, by bringing to you uh, uh, showcasing Indian art, uh, art and uh, music performances such as we have tonight. We have some uh, great entertainment. Some uh, of the groups have been with us now for these past three years and we definitely appreciate that. This is a benefit uh, for American Indian Movement, AIM West, uh, for us to continue the activities uh, that we uh, try to address here in the Bay Area and Northern California uh, regionally and sometimes we were involved internationally, such as uh, being uh, present and taking the message in uh, New York City last, last September at the uh, Climate March or the, the Climate Conference and summit that was going on in New York City. There was nearly half a million people out there on the streets and we were out there during that period uh, demonstrating as well. But uh, tonight, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Bill Meech, who is our special guest as well here tonight. And he's been with us uh, during this uh, entire week, both attending the AIM West Coast Conference held in San Francisco, November 21 and 22. And we also strategized for the mobilization and protest in Santa Clara last Sunday when the uh, 49ers played the, the Washington uh, football team and uh, we seek to remove, address, retire, get rid of uh, mascots and images like that of our peoples and uh, to put an end to that era of the past that uh, is still being pulled into the 21st century. But uh, I'd like to introduce Bill Meade, say a few words and then we'll get on into tonight's program. Oh. 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 We're getting all set up here, ladies and gentlemen. But I said hello, my relative. Today is a good day. My heart is strong, and I extend my hand in friendship. That's a traditional greeting in Lakota language, where I come from. Black Hills country, South Dakota, now they call it. We we'll call it the Great Sioux Nation, or the Lakota Nation, defined by the 1868 Fort Laramie Treaty. So this is uh, kind of our work, is to work with Tony and others throughout the country, and indeed uh, we've been building this movement for many years, since 1968. And of course this Bay Area, this Northern California, has always been one of the most uh, she would say important places in the history of Indian country because of the many things that were uh, done here in terms of action, in terms of organizing our people, standing up for our rights, whether it's in Alcatraz or Pitt River or up in Washington State and the fishing rights and the Redwoods, trying to save the Redwoods, all these issues. We always had uh, of Indian people turning out and I think you and I know you have inspired Indian people from all over the country and indeed now the hemisphere so we found out that we were not alone in this struggle it's a struggle of not only Indian people but now we say indigenous people 375 million of us around the world we have the same issues land and resources. 
whether they're socialists, capitalists, seems like they want our land and they want our resources and our cheap labor. And so uh, we've been struggling with uh, trying to bring this into the arena of human rights, not just civil rights, but human rights. And so we built this movement. And now we stand at the General Assembly of the United Nations trying to build this movement. But we say now that uh, we have a prophecy back home when we was in Wounded Knee, 1973. One of our chiefs, his name was Fool's Crow. He said that there's a prophecy. He said of our people that in the Western Hemisphere, he said, we're all related. And this is uh, an elder chief of ours, one of our last living chief and from our reservation, the Oklala Lakota. And so that's what he said in this hemisphere, not only we're all related, he said, but there's a, a sleeping red giant, he said. And uh, it's about to get off its knees because the younger generation has began to learn about who we are, where we come from, what's our ceremonial ways, our language. As they learn these things and they learn the true history of the United States, he said that big giant, that sleeping red giant is going to get off his knees and we're going to start rebuilding our Indian nations. And so this is the job that we have. Please put your hands together and welcome one of the best blues bands in the Bay Area and a band that for me represents significantly the home of the blues here in the Bay Area, the East Bay Blues in Oakland, and a unique combination of father and son blues that we're going to have more than one representation of. Put together your hands for the Bobby Young Blues Project.
Okay, we got a Bobby Young project to my far left. Gig Anderson on the keys. Gregory G. Man Simmons on the bass. Latros, aka Elvis, on the drums. My pride and joy over here to my right is my son, Nick Young. And my name is Bobby. I'm responsible for all this madness. <laughs> Are they out? Yeah. 
Thank you. Oh, it would be really nice to have a glass of water right about now. <laughs> you got one over there, get? Oh, man, I'm by. <laughs> Is that the only one? Okay, I'm going to do a, a blues soon since we were announced as such. Uh, it's by my favorite blues guitars. A lot of people say he wasn't a blues guitarist, but uh, just listen to what the man was doing. <laughs>
year being the band for uh, Archie Lee Hooker, John Lee's nephew, and he's got this tune called Straight From The Heart that he did, and we just totally fell in love with it, and uh, can none of us sing it because the way Archie sings is just like the way his uncle sang, and it makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever, but I'm going to play this song for y'all.
I do. <laughs> so we we got a single that's and it was released, was it last month? I finally did that, yeah, I think so. Uh, anyways, a little thing, it's called Run From The Devil. We gonna do that right now, because the guys like to play it. <laughs> I like to play it, I think. Try not to, that, to me I'm laughing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot, they, they told me to tell you that I wrote this tune, okay, so this is, it's out there in the world now, okay, iTunes, all those places have it, Bobby Young Project, Run From The Devil.
Charles. Yeah. 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 One more? Okay. Alright, so we got we got one more to do. Ready to work! Bobby Young now. Gig Anderson on keys. G-Man Simmons on the bass. And Charles Harris on the drums. Nick Young over here on the guitar. I'm Bobby. And we only know one way to end the night. And uh, we're gonna do that right now.